So everyone out there in YouTube land, it's Anthony here again. I'm going to do a, a quick video today on this uh, Bulma AG SX75 chainsaw. Uh, which I purchased that about the middle of last year. I did a, as you might have seen, I did a, a previous video about two weeks ago, not long ago, a tiny video on an SX92, which is actually um, misrepresented as well, and it was not 92cc. The SX92 was actually 70.7, and I was, uh, said on that video that I'd do a follow up on this one, so here we are. Um, now, as you can see, I've got this 62 here, 62cc chainsaw. Um, that runs great, that's my go to saw. But uh, I've seen this one online at a decent price. It's the same size power head, um, like dimension wise, and the same weight, but obviously supposedly a lot more power and uh, because it was a good price I thought well I'll okay, use that because I use it quite a lot and uh, a little bit extra horsepower I can't go astray so I grabbed it and then when I I got it and I did a comparison test cut between the two saws I found that the SX75 was no better than the 62 and in fact I'd say the 62 possibly even performed better. And this is an earlier model, it's not the current model. So it's done a lot of work, but it's, it seems to go better than this one. So let's get this out of the way. Now, as I was very suspicious of the actual displacement of 75 cc's, I've worked it out already, and I'm gonna share that with you today. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure the cylinder diameter and the stroke of the piston, and from that we can work out the displacement. So, what I've done, I removed the muffler from it. You can see the piston inside there. I'm just gonna position that piston, just by cranking it over a little bit, so that I can just see the top edge of the piston. I don't know if you can see that there. So now, I'm gonna grab my verniers, Measure through the port, measure from the back and cylinder to the front edge of the piston. Uh, it's a bit of a juggle going to do this. So we'll get there. Okay. So we've got a 45 millimeter piston. Now I've just got to measure the stroke from bottom dead center to top dead center. So I'll just move the cover, the spark plug, I've already taken it out. Now, through the spark plug hole, you can do this with a stick and a pencil if you want. It's only a rough measurement, but the vernies makes it a bit better. First thing I'm going to do is find bottom dead center. Try to keep it in line with the piston, it's quite tricky. Measuring this. Bottom dead center there. And I've got a size of 63 millimeters. So now I want to get the top dead center. Plonk that back down in there again. Right now. Just keep cranking over until you find top dead center. Tricky, I suppose. Rough enough is good enough. There you go. Top dead center size of 28 millimeters. So 
So the 63 bottom to the center minus 28 equals 35. So we've got a 35 millimeter stroke according to that measurement, which is pretty close. Now from that, we can work out the displacement. You don't need any more information than that. Now folks, you don't even need to know how to work it out. Just go online, find a website with an online calculator for working out engine displacement. There's plenty of them out there. And you just put in the figures that you measure and, and it'll work out the answer for you. So anyway, I'll just show you what, how to work it out anyway, just in case you want to know. So to work out displacement, you need to work out the area of the cylinder first, which is pi r squared, radius of the cylinder squared times pi, and then times that by the stroke, which gives you the volume. Now, here's our cylinder dimensions. We've got a 45 millimeter piston, or 4.5 centimeters, and a 3.5 a stroke. So, half of our cylinder diameter is 2.25, times that by 2.25 equals the 5.0625 now times that by pi equals our area so to get our volume now we just times that the, our area value by the stroke which gives us our volume in cc's in this case uh, so there we have it folks we've got a volume or displacement of 55.66 cc's so That'll explain why this thing struggled to cut a banana. Um, this is not a 75cc chainsaw as, as uh, advertised online. Um, yeah, I think you all know who sells these things. This is from a mob in Sydney. Um, I think they're based out at Seven Hills. They sell a lot of the Bomber AG brand stuff. So uh, they're selling the 92 which is only a 70.7 cc, as I already mentioned. And this one as well now, it's only a 55.66 cc chainsaw. Now, I've um, contacted the seller on this regarding both chainsaws, and uh, they just totally ignore it. They, they try to brush it under the carpet and don't acknowledge that there's any kind of issue with the way they're advertising these things. Well, uh, in Australia, that's a big no-no, and I've um, contacted Fair Trade in New South Wales on this, and they're looking into it at the moment. So the seller on this might want to keep an eye out, and uh, I reckon their advertising might change very soon. Um, it's not not right that they are advertising this to the public and then giving them something that's not what they're advertising. So uh, I hope this uh, helps someone out there out in YouTube land or wherever. If you're looking to buy a, a chainsaw at a reasonable price that really doesn't do any good and it's just, you're just looking to waste your money, then this is the saw for you. Buy an SX75 and throw it in the bin or something, whatever you like. But it's not gonna, it, it cuts okay, but it's certainly not what it's represented as. Um, I would say the 62 is a pretty decent saw, or well, I don't know about the new one, but the one I've got is pretty decent. But the 75 and the 92, absolute crap. What they're trying to sell you, it's not the truth. Um, so folks, I hope I've helped someone out. Buy beware. Don't buy the SX75, thinking you're gonna get a 75cc. Or, I'll just grab this. Just quickly, the SX92 is not a 92cc either. And I'd even dare say I don't have one of the 82s, SX82s in the Bomber or the MTM brand, but I think they're actually a 65cc saw. So folks, like I said, I hope this helps someone out. Avoid these, these chainsaws. They're not what they're meant to be. And uh, happy cutting. See you next time.